It's the night before my gene therapy surgery, and I feel some excitement in my stomach, or maybe it's jitters, both. I took a shower tonight. I just got out of the bathroom. I'm not feeling like uh, doing that when I get up, because it is 2.40 something in the morning now, and I have to be up at the latest about 6.30. Why is it every time I go into Portland for one of these um, KCI uh, appointments, I get no sleep? I don't know, but I better uh, stop recording now and get on with uh, the nap <laughs> I'm going to take before I leave. over into Washington early in the morning. I'm on my way into Portland for the gene therapy uh, operation to give me that good working gene. The operation is scheduled for 12.30, so I'm the first operation of the afternoon. And although the uh, window is one and a half hours, for the operation, the surgeon told me that he doesn't expect it to take that long. He hasn't taken that long in the past for the same surgery. I feel pretty good about this morning. I'm excited. From Vancouver, going over the Columbia into Portland. So, passing into Oregon on the way to the KCI Institute. And uh, a good gene that's going to be injected into my eye. traffic in the morning, headed south on Interstate 5. There's downtown Portland. We're crossing the Willamette River, which divides downtown from the rest of the city. It's still I-5. It's a double-decker bridge. The deck above us is going the other direction. I'm on the sixth floor and I've just been admitted to the KCI. While I was at the desk, I think I saw a patio out back. There's a uh, wall of glass. So I am going to go check that out while I wait for the uh, operation. It's about 9.20 in the morning. I'm standing on the patio on the sixth floor of the KCI Institute. It runs most of the length of the building. It has about half a dozen tables, chairs, and a pair of benches, and has quite a few cement planters filled with trees, rocks, and moss. I can hear sprinklers running to keep them all cool. Speaking of cool, half of the patio is covered for the shade lovers of us, and the other half is open to the sky and it's really sunny. It's a beautiful day today. The patio opens up onto a beautiful view of downtown Portland and the riverfront falling away down the hillside. And there's the cable for the tram. I am uh, in the pre-op um, bay here getting ready to get myself uh, shipped off to the operating room. Uh, even though I've done this before, 10 years ago, in another study that was the CNTF4 uh, study. Um, I don't know, I don't really remember that one very much, probably because I was put in here. I'm still nervous, but looking forward to it. Operation should take less than an hour, so I should be out of here by mid-afternoon and back on my way. Well, I am out of the uh, recovery room. Um, I assume the surgery went well. No one's told me anything to the contrary. I've got this awesome fashion statement here on the face. After wearing this patch for 24 hours, um, it'll be taken off 
sometime tomorrow. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, my I'm sorry. next appointment here. <laughs> I don't know about the wisdom of uh, um, recording anything right now because I am a little bit out of it still. The but, anesthesia I mean, is being slow to wear off. That's Pretty dizzy and weak, but uh, that's expected, of course. The really weird thing is, half so my head is I numb from the nose all the way around the back. It's cold, it feels like it's way too big, like my head's been put to sleep, so they must have done a local anesthetic on top of the general okay. anesthesia. My throat's really dry from the breathing tube. Um, that's expected, of course. So, um, yep, I'm done. It apparently went well. Just waiting for my ride uh, to the hotel. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to swallow stuff still. The water's helping. Uh, while I was waiting for my ride, I was just informed that uh, the surgery, although uh, it's successful, there was a little bit of a hiccup in the process. At some point while they were removing the vitreous humor from the eye so they could get a better look at the retina to operate on it. It formed a tear. I was told that was a risk. The retina is such a delicate uh, piece of biological machinery. Um, it was a low risk. It doesn't happen very often at all, but it happened to me. Uh, so uh, the surgeon took his little laser I don't know what the tool would be called. I almost said laser scalpel, but he's not cutting anything with it. He took a laser tool and um, repaired the tear in my retina. So I have a whole retina again. It's unfortunate that that uh, risk actually uh, came about, but I should be fine once uh, my eye has healed from the abuse it just took. Well, it's the morning after surgery. It's about seven o'clock here at the KCI. I am waiting for uh, someone to check me in. It was a pretty uh, good night. I slept uh, fairly well the first time I was here. It's finally coming off today. It had to be on for 24 hours. I didn't realize how much I relied on my left eye to navigate. With this eye patch on, I've, I um, really do feel uh, extra blind. My right eye does have a little bit of central and uh, little islands of peripheral crescents around the edge, but um, yeah, that left eye was used a lot more than I thought it was. So that's an interesting little uh, discovery of mine. Right now, uh, I think my first visit is appointment is uh, to go over all the eye drops I'll be taking and uh, some revision over the continued medications I'll be uh, using. Uh, I'm just looking forward to getting this eye patch off. <laughs> it's really a, a bummer having um, one eye. <coughs> Excuse me. One eye when I'm used to having two. I just recall the last time I had eye surgery, it was on both eyes at once, and I was a pretty grumpy guy for 24 hours I had out of both of those on, so this this isn't anything to complain about. My first two appointments of the day were back to back. First one being um, I started exam to see uh, how my uh, left eye, the operated on eye, uh, is doing. Um, as expected, it wasn't doing well at all because uh, one of the side effects of the surgery is extremely blurry vision for maybe a week, maybe a bit more. It was just a formality and yeah, sure enough I couldn't make out a single letter. I couldn't even see fingers at five faces, so definitely some blurriness there. Um, to see how much function there is in the left eye right after surgery, I was also taken into a dark room and uh, a light wand was waved around and I'd indicate when I could see it. So officially at the moment my left eye is light perception only, but uh, again, that's to be expected. Was uh, another visit to the OCT camera, the infrared one, to see uh, uh, how 
my left eye. Well, I did both eyes, but left eye, they did a lot more photographs in. That was pretty tough to keep my eye fo uh, pointed in one direction and the eyelids open. Because uh, the stitches in my eyes, you'd expect, really irritates the uh, eyelid. But um, it went fine. Just a little longer than the usual OCT uh, photo shoot. Right now, I have, uh, I'm waiting for the next appointment. I have my eyes dilated, so I got the sunglasses on. Um, the surgeon uh, wants to, uh, of course, look at my eyes himself. I've got a few minutes, so I am going to eat a muffin as uh, a very light breakfast. I haven't had a chance to eat yet today. It's about quarter to nine. Day two is winding down. I spent a good part of the afternoon napping. Uh, my uh, left eye has improved quite a bit uh, in the evening. I um, can actually keep it open and uh, even use it a little bit. Right now, I'm finishing out my day with a wonderful little dinner at uh, Spaghetti Factory. Um, it's a chicken and pasta dish with a side of salad. So uh, that will fill me up. And uh, today I have a day off. After that, I go back in for my three-day uh, follow-up and uh, do some more photographs, I guess. Until then. Well, yesterday was my uh, post-op visit, and that went well. Tomorrow is the uh, day three follow-up, but today I get to uh, just have fun and, and avoid the eye poking. Slept in uh, pretty late, and right now I am in a restaurant adjoining the uh, hotel, enjoying myself some burger and cottage fries. I've never had those before, so we'll see how those taste. Um, not sure what I'll be doing for the rest of the afternoon. Probably walk along the waterfront, uh, get in some sun, and um, yeah, that's how I'm probably going to spend the day. Well, I had had my lunch at that uh, nice uh, restaurant, and I'm behind the restaurant now, looking out on the Willamette River on this little footpath that I discovered. Nice sunny day. Got my shades on, of course. My left eye, the one that's operated on, I've got screwed shut because I have a dilating drop in it. It's one of the eye drops I have to take. And uh, needless to say, no sunglasses are dark enough when your eye is dilated. <laughs> anyway, so that's a little slice of the Willamette. Some shots of the path, the river, and a few boats moored at a dock. There's another shot of the Willamette, a little bit further down the path, a little less obstructed view. It's a fairly wide river. It runs right through Portland and separates the downtown from the rest of the city. I'm facing east and north of here at the edge of the city is uh, the Columbia River, which is an absolutely huge waterway. Alright, I'll just keep on walking. Passing by some concrete benches, I'm on the Willamette Greenway Trail. find a city park and a wildlife sign featuring the river's waterfowl. On my way back, I encounter some geese on the trail. There was one more day in this visit to Portland, consisting of another eye exam, the surgeon looking at my retina for uh, my healing progress, and a few three-dimensional photographs taken of the retina to get a better look at a fluid pocket uh, resulting from the surgery. It wasn't as small as expected. Um, apparently my retina just wasn't absorbing it as it should. It was agreed that we'd give it the weekends before deciding what to do about it. So those are the first few days post-surgery. 
and I hope you'll join me on my gene therapy journey.